groups. Uh, and they've gone out and gotten the intelligentsia and sold this idea. And so they're putting these Trojan horses, just like they admit they now put Trojan horses and all the iPhones and all the computers to track us. They put the Trojan horse, these traits, and this is the end of humankind. This yeah, is the, and, and of course, the, you know, the, the, the controllers, they all have the reversal systems. They've all got the technologies uh, to, to reverse it for themselves. And they avoid all this stuff like the plague. And then they force it on us and don't let us label it. This is genocide against humanity. This is a soft kill, and yes. these, these people are murderers. The timeline, we are already too late on many of these issues, Alex. We're already too late. You're raising the alarm. I'm raising the alarm. Some people are paying attention. But this issue is new to many people, and yet it's already too late because there are, there are little girls walking around today, 8, 9, 10 years old, who are going to try to have children in another decade or two. They won't be able to because it's already too late for them. There is genetic contamination now due to the GMOs that's spreading across the planet. It's already too late. You can't put that back in the box. Wait a minute. Hold on. Studying uh, uh, genetics, it's well known that when you mate a horse and a zebra or a horse and a donkey and you get a mule, the, the chimera, and, and those are natural chimeras, yeah. are sterile. And I was just reading studies this morning that's why the GMO makes all the creatures it comes in contact with go sterile is because it is muted. It is causing a mutation within your body. I mean, yeah, these people, right. you got to admit, this was cold-blooded. And, and listen, people are going to be, that's been, why yeah. they've got to have a police state in place right now. Of course. Because, because folks are going to get so mad about this. People are going to be watching this underground in 10 years. We'll probably be locked up in prison. <laughs> yeah, probably. If we, I'm serious. We're facing the same firing squad. If we don't know. turn this around. But, yeah. I, but the folks, as a message of the future, they won't listen now. But right. 10 years from now, they're going to know why it's almost complete sterility. And, and why we're all eating Soylent Green at that time. And Please it's continue, be though, because what you're breaking down is the heart of everything. Keep in mind, let's get back to the patent that you mentioned earlier, patents. You see, these companies, whether they're drug companies or uh, labs playing God with human chimpanzee hybrid fetuses, or whether they're agriculture companies. They don't care what they sell, Alex, if they can grow it and own it and enforce the patent and have a monopoly and sell it, they don't care what it is. Right now, they found out a way to monopolize and grow GMO corn. If they can grow GMO human body parts, they will, and well, they are. They, the, no, I mean, they admit they've been doing it yeah. for decades now, quietly. Now they're unveiling it because now it's ready for marketability. But that's the issue. They also, and they admit this, they sterilize most of the public, but then they've got the genetic treatments to turn it back on. They say, oh, we can take your husband and your wife's cells, we'll splice it for you and make you a baby. But now, if you're going to get this under the global insurance, we've got to make sure that this person has the traits, we say, not just cutting out, quote, cancer, but... Also aggressive behavior. Well, remember, as of right now, at least 20% of the human genome is patented and owned by corporations and universities and scientists. So they're not just taking over the, the crops' uh, no. genetics. They're taking over human. A, a corporate takeover of humans. Right. And the, they own the patents right now. You can check the U.S. Patent Office. You know, we're not making this up. It's going to get to a point where if you want to reproduce and have a non-mutant child... You're going to have to pay a royalty, just like the farmers do to Monsanto and DuPont for the seeds year after year because the seeds have a Terminator gene in them. The mass population is being contaminated with Terminator genes through all the genetic mutation in the food and supply this is on record. and the drugs. And then they will create the institutions that represent the mutants. And, and the groups that represent the people who have the right to bioengineer and transhuman. That's right. And then they will manage all of that and play people uh, off against each other. We're going to have genetic class warfare system, you know, genetic classes. So they're actually invoking eugenics. They're, yes. they're building the world they want, and then they're going to blame carbon dioxide that's part of the life cycle and, and other things. That's why this is happening. Then they'll take more rights in the name of stopping the very scourge they created. You go back to the 20s, the Rockefellers figured out that most cancer was viral. Yeah, yeah. Then by the 30s, they roll out the vaccines. But that's the and, then the, and, and then the 40s and 50s, which the government admits over 100 million people total died from cancers contracted by SV40, and it's only beginning. Their mass murder is only beginning. That's right. And then you've got a mesmerized drug. People ask, why don't Americans get mad? We are the test bed for the rest of the world. I mean, I saw the article in Natural News. We're in Hungary. Tell folks what they're doing in Hungary. 
Uh, which, which article was that? The, the story where they're destroying all the GMOs. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Hungary outlawed GMOs. And uh, some farmer was caught growing GMO corn in, in Hungary. And the government actually came in and brought in a crew and destroyed the crops. And they said, we are going to have, we're going to protect genetic integrity in our country and not allow this contamination. You know, good for Hungary. Because, you know, Hungary wants to have a food supply, wants to have oh agricultural integrity in another generation, where the U.S., which has just basically given in to the GMO industry, the U.S. is going to be dealing with mass starvation, mass mutant crops, crop failures. We have UG All the bees United, dying? The bees dying thir about a third a year. 33% of the bee population is dying every year. Year after year after year, I mean, it doesn't take too many years before you're down to two or three percent. And what the it Germans used to be. looked in their guts and, and found a it, 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 uh, major link to the BP toxin because bees are like humans. Other plants and animals won't eat this stuff, but yeah. bees will still go ahead and get the pollen. Yeah, that, that's right. There, there, there are multiple factors, I believe, involved in the bee, the honeybee collapse. Yeah, we've got cell phone towers. We've got genetically modified crops. We've got chemical pesticides and a possible chemtrail link as well. With the, oh, with we the know the bees. aluminum levels going off the chart. And the old timers, 15 years ago, now 16, went up and did tests and said they're spraying barium salts, aluminum dioxide, and we don't know why. Right. And then two years ago, first speech the science czar gives Holdren, he says, yes, there's been a 15-year uh, secret program. The Nobel Prize winner developed it, a plan to save you from global warming. But the studies actually show it makes it heat up. We're, we are spraying aluminum dioxide. This, exactly yeah. what the conspiracy theorists said. But here's, here's a pop culture example. In the movie The Thing, not just the original 50s, but the remake with Kurt Russell, great, yeah. great, great horror film, they dig up this creature. It's, it's a shapeshifter. It's a genetic creature that can copy anything at once. And it basically comes to planets to absorb and copy and replicate, and then the entire biosphere is basically replicas of itself, and they estimate with their computer that if it gets out of Antarctica, um, that within you know just a couple hundred days, the entire world will be infected. So basically, the science officer decides he's got to kill everybody. Right. Uh, and and that's what the elite did. If you and you got to admit they're smart. You go back to the British royalty 150 years ago. This is on record. They said to Galton and others, the eugenicist. They said we've got to figure out, find out what makes life tick. We've got to patent it, and we've got to take over. And then a hundred years ago, they were talking about genetic engineering and all this and, and the island of Dr. Maru. Yeah. And then about 65 years ago, uh, even decades before they discovered it, they guessed it would be DNA. They figured, like, they figured it out. The Cold Springs Harbor Eugenics Laboratory developed it, which is eugenics, and now they've paid for it with tax money, and now they're not using it to empower humanity they're using it to take everything over. Please continue. I mean, the problem is, well, Mike, you bring this up, and it's just you want to pull your hair out. Yeah, well, it's almost like this interview, you should put it on a DVD and lock it in a vault somewhere or bury it underground because it's possible, Alex, here's a scenario, that 50 years from now, as the human race collapses, people won't even know why. All they will know is that they can't have babies, the food is gone, the honey, the pollinators are gone, and people won't know why, because they were never told the truth. It's children of men. Did you see that movie? Children of men. They're exactly. throwing it Just in like our that. face yeah. in movies like that. Of course they are. There was another movie, The Island. Remember The Island, where they grew clone bodies uh, in, a, in a separate containment living and space? And it turns out they're doing exactly that, but they, they grow it in utero in a cow, and then reportedly, won't tell you what else they do, but the report is they actually are keeping these clones alive. Uh, yeah, absolutely they are. Yeah. I, but it's it's gotten to the point, Alex, where I, I mean, I, sometimes I wake up and I think I need to. These are humans, the, though. Well, what about their rights? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, once they're not humans, right? Once they mix in other animal genes, they that's, have no rights. That's what they're saying. That's that's how they get around the human rights. They can make a 99.5 percent human. Remember, remember, there's only about a one or two percent difference between a human and a chimpanzee. So they can make a 99.5 percent human and 0.5 percent jellyfish, and they can say that's not a human. So therefore, it has no rights, and we can grow them, and we can harvest their organs for transplant surgeries to, into other humans. And then they sell it to the public, and Ray Kurzweil does. It's inevitable. Give in to it. Don't have a debate about the future of this. And literally, you'll have to go to them to reproduce, and that's their plan. And then that's where the licensing comes in. They say it's your guilt 
for the toxic waste that did this. You go back to the Industrial Revolution, <laughs> yeah. that didn't affect uh, 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 fertility, and there were real toxins and problems. This is something beyond that. Now, now, might continue. At the same time, there are a lot of vitamins, nutrients, minerals that have been proven to not 100% protect you, but, but shield you from a lot of this. Right. This is the real link. Okay, we haven't even talked about this, even on your show or even on National News yet. The real key here is that nutritional supplements, the good ones, the really high-end superfoods, they prevent DNA mutations. They actually, they create and activate chromosome repair. All right? The right nutrients can help you repair your DNA. So they now, the FDA, through its new NDI regulations that it's proposing, the new dietary ingre ingredient regulations, it wants to take all of these away. So at the same time that all these DNA mutations are coming in from Fukushima radi radiation fallout, from the vaccines, from the pharmaceuticals, from the G GMO contamination, they're taking away all the supplements that can repair DNA. By the way, they so did this, that in Europe. And in last year's Food Safety Act that Big Pharma and Big Agri pushed, it said we, this law implements Codex Alimentarius. Yes, yeah, that's a law. That's, that's done and over with. You know, we, we, it's after the fact. We, Alex, we are so far after the fact. People watching or listening won't, won't even believe it. They think this is, hasn't happened yet. Jack McClam's it's, coming up. Not Jack McClam, another great patriot. Uh, Sheriff Richard Max coming up later. Yeah. And I actually have the new executive order in place that talks about lost status and al-Qaeda. Then later it says, any American for any reason, anytime we want, we can lock you up, take your bank account, executive order. And he, he declares a civil emergency. We're under martial law. Of course. Please continue. Well, uh, the, the supplements can be taken away from us by the end of this year. All right, the FDA regulations are now in a in a 90 day comment period that began July 1st. They started it right before the July 4th weekend, in order to you know get some time under the rug. If we don't beat this deal, if we don't beat this, and if we don't if we don't get the rights back for our nutritional supplements, then literally those health food stores could be wiped out. All of these products could be off the shelves by the end of this year. Say that I mean, again. I mean, okay. I and mean, by the way, food all over the country, all they're saying the country. you can't have your own garden. You've got to have a license because you might be growing marijuana. Uh, all over the country, they're rating people selling peaches on the side of the road. Amish selling milk to yeah. their neighbors. So don't say it. we have government health care now. Don't say... Oh, Obama can't launch a war without congressional approval. Don't say the foreign banks won't rob us. Don't say the, you know, that the dollar won't go down. It's all happening. It's all planned. So don't live in denial. This is happening now. Please continue. It's, they have synchronized the assault on our foods and our freedoms. It's a program. It's, it's absolutely a planned strategy. Why do they go after Julie Bass? Why are they going after the, the Amish? Why do they go after the food supply with the food safety bill at the same time that now they want to take away the nutritional supplements at the same time that they're about to launch another new vaccine scare campaign with Hollywood movie coming out uh, in another month, the big fall vaccine time period, at the same time that the USDA says we're not going to regulate GMOs? It's all happening at once. This is modern 21st century warfare. It's corporate. Yep. It's scientific. It's packaged slickly. It's creeping death. It's in the plastic bottles, the bisphenol A. It's in the air. It's in the vaccines. It's invisible. It's hidden. This is the total full-spectrum eugenics global extermination program. We are in the deep throes of it. And now it with is. the carbon tax, they've attempted to shut off more than half the energy of the third world. They told the third world, hey, we're going to tax America and Europe and give you tax money for development. They get the treaty, and it's right at double the taxes on them there'd be on us. I mean, and they, they figured out in 10 years, it would have killed more than a billion people who are living on less than $2 a day. And I've got reports today in the Boston Herald that they're seeing malnutrition now all over the United States because the, the poor children... Starvation yeah. in the emergency rooms. Yeah, doctors are seeing that now more than ever before. There are African-American babies being born in Boston hospitals now who are born with rickets, all right, which is a chronic vitamin D deficiency of the mother. There are mothers being given chemotherapy so that their babies are born with genetic mutations and, and long-term infertility. This is happening right now. It is a crime against humanity. It, it's, it's a multitude of crimes. And it's a battle plan. Against, it's, it's a war against the human genetic integrity. It's the eugenics wars. It's, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. I mean, we're seeing it now. It's, it's not a theory. It's not a conspiracy. It's not even something that we're warning people down about 10, year, 10 years down the road. 
This is happening right now, today. But, Alex, there will be survivors of this. 